Hey guys, Brendan from Pat here again. Um, so I want to show you a common fault on the Cruise. I mean, we've got a turbo version of the Cruise here, a JH model, but they use the same component in the naturally aspirated, so it's a fairly common. So what it is, the P0599, and that's the thermostat heater control circuit high. So these um, run a thermostat that's got an electronic heater in it. If you want to come over here and have a quick look at it, um, You'll, you'll see mid through last year I did a, an article on them and, and sort of detail what they do but quite common for the heater to fail. So it lives down here, it's just this two pin plug inside the thermostat. Um, resistance testing the heater, it's about 1.5 ohms um, which seems a bit um, low for these tiny little wires um, for me and the other thing we did is just unplug it and see that we've got good power and earth there. So it's getting controlled and the heater is an open circuit. So that's why I've got an amp clamp on there because I want to look um, deeper at the circuit and see what's actually going on amperage wise. And it's a, an interesting sort of one so I wanted to show it to you. So up on the Pico here. Okay, so we've got um, red is, is just watching the control side of the heater. So we've got 12 volts going into um, one side of it and I'm watching the other side which is the computer that's going to ground it. So right now the car's off, um, nothing happening and the blue is my amp clamp there. So I'm going to go turn the ignition on. Okay, so that's ignition on and we can see we're getting some control there and what I found interesting is, I'll, I'll pause this just so it's not running all over the screen, but if we look in the scan tool it's going to be saying that operation is at 99% so it's basically turning it on um, it's, it's trying to command 99% it says, but you can see the red line here, so we go from 12 volts and then it pulls it down, but if we come across here it's only pulling it down to say 3 volts or so, and during that time our blue trace has gone up to, we're pulling almost 3 amps and it decides, I don't like that, I've, I've raised amperage too, um, too quickly, something must be going on, and so it aborts and it doesn't even pull it all the way to ground. Um, basically looked all over and there's no resistance spec for this heater so that's why I wanted to put this out there so that when you run into it you'll you'll um, sort of understand the system when you buy a new one so the, the thermostat comes in a, as an assembly it's actually about more like 15 or 16 ohms so what's happened is the heater is probably shorted um, has very low ohms and it, it draws a lot of current probably if you were to ground it it'd be far too much current for those tiny little wires so really the computer is getting upset that it's, um, it's going to draw too much current and it, it just aborts and says no I'm not going to do it. So um, something that you'll come across um, when the car comes in it's in a fail safe mode so the, the radiator fans are running all the time so if you get a cruise and you've got radiator fans running all the time look at the fault codes there will likely be a cooling system fault code in this um, case it was the thermostat heater um, for high voltage. So hopefully that helps you. Um, any more tips, get on to www.tat.net.au and um, I'll log this one in there along with the hundreds of other tips and hopefully this helps someone one day. Thanks.